now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. A black Minneapolis entrepreneur was found dead inside of his apartment in Brazil after being drugged and robbed by two women. Brazil are investigating after a Minneapolis entrepreneur was found dead on a potential business trip. 43-year-old Dwayne Morris was the president and founder of Blue Waters Consulting and Seoul Community Development Corporation. As Rex Chapman reports, the Roosevelt High School graduate had strong ties to the community. He's a fun partner to have. Tamitha Richmond says her life partner, Dwayne Morris, made everyone he met feel as if they were his best friend. He has a way about himself where everybody believes they're the most special person. So when he's interacting with them, um, you know, in this last week, the amount of people that told me they're Dwayne's best friend or, um, you know, they've, they, they're a brother to them or a sister to him and, uh, you know, don't actually have that blood relationship. And that's really about how he showed up in his relationships. From his time as a teacher, a basketball coach, or working at a nonprofit in North and South Minneapolis, Dwayne gave his all to what he was doing. While others may have seen it as him staying really busy, it really was more about that Dwayne was sharing his gifts. And so it came easy to him. It energized him to be able to connect and help and provide. The Roosevelt High School and Southwest Minnesota State University graduate managed a $14 million portfolio of businesses as well as provided financial consulting. Dwayne was a sole provider for his blended family, Tamitha's three children and his one child. Their home, a place where they mentored other young adults, another way he gave back to community. To be a partner with Dwayne is really to share him with the world. And as a family, they love to travel. We've traveled to a variety of countries and we were well aware of the things that were necessary as you become an international traveler. That's why she has so many questions about what happened in Brazil. It doesn't make sense. Duane was in the country less than 24 hours. He had not yet even spent the night in Brazil. Duane was found dead in his rental home in Brazil. His family as well as authorities suspect foul play. This is certainly a situation where Duane was targeted. His death does not overshadow how much he contributed to the lives of many, his legacy one of love and empowering others to be their best. Rich Chapman, WCCO News. Richmond is planning a celebration of life in Minnesota. He'll be buried in Jamaica. Now in this alleged incident that took place in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, 43-year-old D. Wayne Antonio Morris, who came from Minneapolis and was in a relationship with a white woman and had several ch children that he had take, was taken care of from her from a previous marriage, decided to go to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, possibly on business. And as he was going to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, he had only been in Brazil for less than 24 hours before he possibly was approached by two women. And as he was approached, by these two women, 23-year-old Leticia Clara Benet Bento da Silva and another unidentified accomplice, this is where D. Wayne Morris allegedly possibly invited them back to his apartment. And after possibly being invited back to the apartment, which they're seen on surveillance camera video, this is where they possibly had drinks with D. Wayne Morris, and having these drinks with D. Wayne Morris, what they did possibly was slip him some GHB, a drug that many people use in their goodnight Cinderella schemes in Brazil, to render a person unconscious while they wind up robbing them, and after possibly giving D. Wayne Morris this drug, what happened to him is he possibly wound up getting rendered unconscious and the chemical reaction with his body was one that led to him winding up foaming at the mouth and as he was rendered unconscious these women with malice of forethought went to rob his apartment of all of his valuables and then after robbing him of all of his valuables wound up fleeing the scene and after they fled the scene D. Wayne Morris was found inside of his apartment dead 
from this overdose of GHB and that's where police and his partner, his the, the white woman he was involved with, wind up founding him. Now, D. Wayne Morris allegedly was a seasoned traveler who basically was known for traveling to different countries with his female partner and her three children and his one child by her. And he was supposed to be someone who basically knew how Brazil operated, but even the seasoned traveler didn't really understand what was going on as related to relationships and women. And that possibly, I believe, was the thing that wound up leading to him winding up losing his life. Because even though the police see the death of D. Wayne Morris as an isolated possible international incident, when I take a critical examination of the alleged incident regarding D. Wayne Morris, it definitely fits the pattern and profile for simps that I talk about in my book, Stop Simpin', Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance. And it definitely looks like to me that D. Wayne Morris possibly was one of these simps based on his pattern of behavior, because I'm looking at his pattern of behavior as related to his relationship with his so-called white female partner. And here we have an older established man, and what he does is not look to get married to a woman and have her as a wife. No, he doesn't look to have a woman as a wife. He's looking to have a partner with a woman who already has three kids. And that's a red flag to me when it comes down to a dude, because instead of him looking to be a leader, he's basically following behind a woman. And as he looks to follow behind women, this basically puts him in a position of weakness where he's basically marked as a target. And even though Dwayne Morris was, again, a wealthy, wealthy man and, again, a seasoned traveler, he basically wound up on this road possibly to his demise because he wound up looking to follow behind these so-called attractive women in Brazil and possibly thought he could go and have a little something on the side with these women, Letitia Clara Bento da Silva, and her accomplice, and this is possibly why he wound up inviting them back to his apartment in Brazil, not understanding that when it came to Brazil, the State Department had already warned travelers to watch themselves in Brazil because there were a lot of women out there looking to participate in schemes like this Goodnight Cinderella scheme, which targeted men because they knew that a lot of men, such as the Passport Bros, love to travel overseas and as they look to travel overseas they're looking to get involved with women not understanding that these women are looking to target men especially black men because these women have very nefarious purposes and because they have nefarious purposes they look at these traveling guys and see the lust that they have in their eyes for foreign women and look to use that as an opportunity to be able to take advantage of those men and rob them and possibly wind up leading to them losing their lives. Because again, the US State Department just a couple of months ago tried to warn men to avoid going to Brazil due to schemes like this Goodnight Cinderella scheme because eight men previously wound up losing their lives and things got so dire in Brazil as related to these eight men losing their lives that the State Department said that they didn't want men out here going to Brazil and tried to tried to tell men not to go to that country due to the predators looking to prey on men. Moreover, we had Austin Holloman who previously came to Brazil and once he came to Brazil, he wound up coming into a country where he ran into feminists who basically looking to get him out of the country. And when it comes to these kind of female predators, these are the feminist indoctrinated women looking to target a man, looking to target a man because they don't see a man as a human being they need to respect. No, they basically see that man as a mark. And because they see that man as a mark, they look to find a way to get that man alone so that they can take advantage of that man. And once they get what they want out of that man, they basically leave him to a fate where he winds up completely embarrassed and humiliated in the 
least of the spectrum of situations and in the most extreme cases what happens is is that men wind up like 43 year old d wayne morris dead inside of their apartment all because they go to places like brazil not just to travel but they hope to go out here and score some easy sex from some easy women not understanding that when it comes to easy women there are consequences and that's what i believe happened to d wayne morris when he decided to travel to brazil i believe sadly what happened to d wayne morris is he basically wound up falling for these so-called attractive women because that's the only way they could possibly wind up going back to his apartment and winding up getting him to take those drinks where they drug those drinks and him winding up having to ingest that ghb that's the only answer that i can have as related to this case was he was possibly looking to go out here and cheat on his partner and as he was looking to cheat on his partner he wound up sadly reaping what he sowed, later than what he sowed, greater than what he sowed, and as he looked to get a little something on the side, he sadly wound up losing his life as a result of it. And that's the sad, that's one part of the sad, tragic story of D. Wayne Morris as related to him traveling overseas. The other part that's possibly going to be a tragedy is what's going to happen to this black man inside of Brazil's criminal justice system. Now, when it comes to the entire system of white supremacy, it's a global system, and that global system works to be anti-black no matter where a black man goes. And what I fear that's going to happen to D. Wayne Morris as he's traveled to Brazil is he's going to get the same amount of injustice that a previous traveler, Bakari Henderson, received back when he went to Greece Back when Bakari Henderson went to Greece, he basically wound up getting ambushed by a group of Serbian men once he took a picture of himself with a Serbian waitress, and those men mobbed him, ambushed him, and beat him to death. And to this day, Bakari Henderson still has not got justice. His family still is fighting for justice because the, his killers still continue to remain free as related to the manipulation of technicalities in his court case and i fear what may possibly be happen to d wayne morris is he may wind up getting railroaded as related to getting criminal justice in the racist again brazilian criminal justice system now his murderer alleged murderer is basically one of these black brazilians but when it comes to the white supremacist systems of the global system they are going to put ethnicity over black over american black so i don't know with this case if there will be any sort of justice and that's one of the big risks black men take when we go out here traveling we a lot of us think that we can go to these foreign lands and be able to go there and travel safely but we don't understand that there's white supremacy in those lands and you're basically on your own and that's sadly what happened to D Dwayne Morris as he went overseas to Brazil he went overseas to Brazil thinking that he could go out here and just travel all by himself not understanding that there was a target on his back as a black man and because he didn't understand there was a target on his back as a black man, sadly, this black man basically wound up traveling into a situation that most people really don't understand as related to these women. A lot of these women, you're thinking that they're being friendly with you, but you're not asking the critical question, why is this woman who don't know me from nowhere going out here and trying to be friendly with me? That's the critical question many black males who travel don't ask critically because they're not thinking critically because they're just caught up in their feelings about the attention they're receiving and because they're so caught up in their feelings about the attention they're receiving these guys basically wind up getting their heads gassed up because they believe oh here's this hot attractive woman checking me out and as they're thinking this woman is checking them out what they do is go out here and escalate things as related to this woman's attention and affection 
to the point where they're thinking they're going to get an easy hookup. And once they think they're going to get this easy hookup, what they do is set themselves up in a situation where, at, again, at the least they get robbed. But in the case of some people, they have a bad chemical reaction to these drugs and it winds up with them losing their life and sadly that's what happens to some guys out here because again they think with the wrong head and sadly that's what happened here to D. Wayne Morris who basically was a simp who went from one situation where he was again involved with this white female partner who basically he wound up in a jam because he got involved with a woman who already had three kids by another man which basically was a bad situation in and of itself and he went from being in the frying pan of that situation by looking to take care of that white woman in her as related to her children and building a home with her to winding up in a fire with these Brazilian women, basically winding up in this situation because this man didn't learn the male life skills or male survival skills about learning how to discern as related to women and how to read women and read situations regarding women. This is what can happen to a simp who goes on for a long time because again, when it comes to simps, Simps are very naive men who do not know how to read situations, do not know how to read women, do not know how to study women, and do not understand how to go out here and look at a situation because they get caught up in their feelings about the attention a woman is giving them. And as they get caught up in their feelings, again, this makes it where female predators have an opportunity to prey on them. And that's the whole sad situation with Dwayne, D. Wayne Morris, is he wound up in this sad situation because, yes, he made millions of dollars, but he didn't get those male life skills that could have saved his life. I mean, this guy basically could have, if he had read Stop Simpin', it possibly could have saved his life, and it possibly could have kept him from being targeted by these female predators because he would have been able to read these women and say, hey, this woman's coming out of nowhere. She don't know me from nowhere, and she's just trying to step to me. That's a red flag right there. And a smart guy would have basically said, hey, just let me get your phone number, and I'll call you, and I'll see about meeting you someplace else. And that basically would have shut these chicks down almost immediately because, again, when it comes to these kind of predators, they want to get you caught up in your lust and rushing for them. And... When they hear you say that you want to go out here and call them to meet later on, what they're going to do is leave you alone and go right to the next mark. But this guy, again, he was less than 24 hours in Brazil. And sadly, what happened to him is he got in this jam because he didn't know how to move in these countries. Now, he had been a seasoned traveler for years, and but just didn't know how to move because simps don't know how to move. And again, you can travel to 100 countries, but if you don't know how to move, you can wind up getting a mark in one of these situations, and you could wind up getting marked for death if you don't watch how you move in these spaces. Now, if you want to learn about how to identify female predators and avoid being targeted by them, and you can go out here and pick up my books in the Simp series, such as Stop Simp and Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance, Stop Simping in the Workplace, Stop Simping in Cyberspace, and The Misadventures of Captain Savum, not to mention my other books like The Man Crisis and The Woman Crisis. You can find all of that nonfiction on the SJS Direct imprint on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find that nonfiction at other online booksellers like Draft the Digital, Google Play, Barnes & Noble, and big box retailers like Walmart and Target. And these books will basically show you how to identify the behavior of female predators and be able to possibly set up a strategy to avoid those female predators and avoid getting preyed on and taken advantage of by these kinds of predatory women. Now, if you want to see me make more men's issues videos, you can drop a donation to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the link in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available for the first time in paperback. Stop simping in the workplace. Men, learn what you need to know in order to protect your job from workplace predators with Stop Simping in the Workplace. Available in paperback at online booksellers everywhere.
Now available in paperback and Kindle, Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females like Instagram models and e-girls in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Get your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace in paperback and Kindle today. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media. www.niceradionetwork.com Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.